Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and this channel is all about beauty, fashion, and life and particularly for the woman over 40, but not today. Today's video is for everybody, whether you're 12, 21, 81, 91, 100. But if you're 100, leave me a comment below and let me know so I can celebrate you. Yes ma'am, please do. Now, a lot of you have asked me about my perfume and my perfume uh, collection, so here, here it is right here. Mine is a couple of bottles and I've organized these into groups of good, great, and heavy hitters. So now, if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Now let's get started. So these are all my, all my, mine is a few. I cannot find my Tommy Girl, which I absolutely love. And then I have um, Delina in Texas at my daughter's house. But these are my perfumes. I've grouped them in. These are good. These are great. And these are the heavy hitters right here. These, these, every last one of these, I would, well, I don't know if I would buy this again, to be honest. But the rest of these, for certain, I would buy again. If I run out, I'm definitely, we're not gonna run out of this one though, are we? <laughs> definitely we purchase these again. These are really nice fragrances, very uh, much everyday fragrances. If you want to have a signature fragrance, not so much, but just uh, how am I feeling today? If I'm, if you, if you're having a light and fresh, airy spring day, you might want to try this Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. As you, you can see, um, this Tory Burch um, Lavender Perfume, I absolutely love because the ball is over halfway gone, but it's very light and very airy. So I wear this when I just want to just smell pretty and just I'm just having a good, light, airy kind of day. If you've heard of Baccalaureate 540, these two, this is by Ariana Grande. I think it's called Cloud and this Burberry fragrance, they both smell just like Baccarat 540, which I don't have in my collection, but I am gonna purchase. But I hear they, they, uh, they don't last really long, maybe four hours or so. I heard Baccarat lasts a lot longer and the fragrance grows and matures as it's on your skin. These are just as they smell in the bottle. They smell very pretty. So if you want to try Baccarat 540, Baccarat Rouge 540, but you don't want to um, spend that money because it's three, four hundred dollars a bottle. But you want to see what it smells like, get a kind of your a hint of what it smells like. These two are great. One of the fragrances that I use a lot is this musk. This is a really, really good musk. It's by Narcisco Rodriguez. I use this if I'm having a, a day that I want to mix some perfumes because it's really, really good to mix perfumes. So this is a musk. I would mix this with something like this, which is a fruity scent, and then make the, the scent more complex and more layered. If you want it to last a little bit longer, you mix the two, and it just smells a little different from where everybody else. You'll have people that smell like this, and you'll have people that smell like this, but you're not going to have someone that smells like this right here. So I use this a lot to mix uh, and layer with other fragrances because it's a really nice, soft, gentle musk. Not overpowering, not that Jovan musk at the drugstore. And you can tell this is a little more expensive and it's a great, great scent if you want to go out. If you want to try a musk, a nice, not a heavy musk, but a, a more mature, um, a more delicate sort of musk. This is perfect. So these are just, they're good scents. Now this is Montal and um, it's chocolate, chocolate, chocolate greedy. It smells just like a Tootsie Roll. Exactly like a Tootsie Roll. So if you want to smell like chocolate, but not like a heavy dark chocolate, like this right here. <laughs> but if you want to smell like chocolate and you were just having a fun day, this smells exactly like a Tootsie Roll to me. I like it though, I like it. This is Gucci Envy. It has a fresh, crisp, uh, scent. If this was a fruit, it'd be like a green apple. Then it's not like green apple, but you know that you get when you bite that green apple, that tartness, that freshness, that is what this smells like. This is a very, um, not an old scent, but it's, uh, it's been in my rotation probably for at least 10 years or so, but I really like this. This Juicy Couture, a lot of people love, love, love this. I, I like it okay. I bought it because so many people loved it and I just wanted to have it and um, I like it, but I'm gonna give this to my daughter because I feel like this is a um, more of a girly scent. Not a little girl, but it's very, very sweet. It smells like candy and that's just not my aesthetic, but it's a nice fragrance, but it's just not me. So I'm gonna give her this. I'm sure she'll be happy when she see this video. I love this 
Hermes scent here. It has a green green at the bottle. I think they had a series of these and it was all about nature and about rooftops and stuff. This smells very green, but not like grass green, but it very, very clean, outdoorsy, fresh, a fresh spring day when the flowers are just starting to bloom. So it doesn't smell floral, but it smells clean and outdoorsy and green. I don't know how else to um, describe it, but I really like this. As you can see, I've used this a lot as well. I think I bought this in the airport in Dubai. I sure did, sure did. Now let's go over here to, these are my goods. Now, these are my greats. Now if you've ever had a uh, oud fragrance or have, if you haven't tried an oud fragrance and you want to try it out and see what it smells like, um, it's a very, very um, common fragrance in the Middle East. This Montal Intense Cafe, they said it's supposed to be a, a combination of oud and coffee. I don't smell coffee in it at all. I love coffee. But this doesn't smell like coffee to me. Maybe my, my nose is not mature enough to pick up on a coffee scent. But it's a very pretty oud scent. It's not heavy, heavy on the oud, but it's definitely oudy. If you've not smelled oud and you spray this and you're trying to figure out what that scent is you smell, it is the oud. That is the top note. It's, it's very prominent. It lasts about six hours on the skin and it uh, grows and changes a little bit once you've had it on, once it mixes with your chemistry. But I love this. This is a great fragrance. I wear this a lot as an everyday fragrance. Oops. This is Joy by Dior. As you can tell, I really love this. This is a very, very spring fragrance and it's really, really pretty, Re really outdoorsy, very bright and lively. Makes me want to smile when it, just like this. I guess that's why it's called Joy, huh? Oh, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. I love this. And this Versace Blue. This is a great everyday signature. Most of these on here are great um, signature scents. If you want to have a scent that you're known for, you use most of the time, use every day, people will get a whiff or a sillage of that after you've long never like, so-and-so walk through here because she wears that perfume all the time. Most of these will great, make great signature scents. This is a very, uh, this will make a great signature scent as well. It's very universal. A lot of people would love this scent. It's not um, polarizing. It's really pretty, long lasting. Have nothing bad to say about this. But my newest fragrance on here is by Joe Malone and it is Orange Bitter. It doesn't smell bitter. It smells like, it does smell like oranges, like a heavy orange, but not like an orange orange. It's like an orange and a spice kind of. Um, the only problem with this is it does not have good longevity at all. I really like it because I love fruity scents and it's not a light fruity scent. It's more of a heavy, heavy, heavy fruity scent, but I really like it, but the longevity is not good. Like a lot of Joe Malone um, perfumes, but it's very, very pretty. Now, if you want a, this is this uh, Chanel, Chance, the pink, they have pink, they have green, and I can't think they have a clearer version, but this is the pink version. This is a beautiful, beautiful springtime everyday scent. Like if you want to have a signature scent, signature, signature scent in the spring, production, stop laughing. I'm a doc you pay, I'm a doc, I'm a doc you pay. I know you don't get paid doctor, but I'm a doc, I'm a doc zero from zero. But this is a beautiful everyday scent for springtime. Very bright, very clean, very crisp. Uh, what you would expect of Chanel, of course. Beautiful scent. So I can tell you all of these, except for maybe this, I'm not sure. I would purchase again if I ran out. And this is maybe 50, around $50. I think the most expensive one, I think on, this may be 100. I think this Joe Malone may be 100. The rest of these are between 50 and hundred dollars. Now, if you want a really pretty, pretty scent, this is laying down, cause it, look how thin this bottle is. I think the new ones come with a stand to sit it in so it stands up, but this one doesn't, so I just lay it down. This is Adol by Lancome. It is beautiful, beautiful. It doesn't smell like flowers. It doesn't smell like Fruit, I guess it's a combination of the two, but this is a beautiful scent. If you want to start out, start your perfume collection, I think this would be a great um, perfume to start a perfume collection. If I were purchasing perfumes for someone as a gift, I've given this joy as a gift because, you know, uh, 
perfume uh, tastes are very, very subjective, but I tried and I so I really don't like to give perfumes as gifts unless I am pretty sure that the person will like it or unless I know them really well. But this is pretty universal and it's very, very, it's a very beautiful scent and it's um, not really expensive. Uh, it's under $100. So I think this is this will be a great um, addition to any perfume collection or if you want to give a gift to someone, it's perfect. Oops. Now this I've had a few years, this Marc Jacobs Decadence, I love it. it I love it, oh, it smells so good. It reminds me of Thanksgiving, I don't know why, but it has uh, hints of spices, but not heavy, heavy spices. It's spicy, but bright and vibrant, but it just makes me smile when I smell it. It just reminds me of Thanksgiving and the holidays. I don't smell cinnamon in it or nutmeg, but it reminds me of, I don't know why, I don't know what's in it that makes me smell like that but this is beautiful, I love this. I would definitely buy this again. The longevity is not real good on this either. It may be like five or six hours. So if I bought this, um, I would probably, I don't know, I wouldn't want to carry it with me, but I would spray it on my skin and spray it on my clothes so that it would last a lot longer when I wear it. Now we're going to get to my heavy hitters. Let me start off with my favorite perfume of this entire collection and, oh, oh, oh. In there. I think, I think I'm gonna have to go with uh, Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. This, cool, this smells like vacation. Oh my God, this smells, yep, I ain't got no perfume on today. I ain't gonna spray them all. <laughs> this smells like vacation, period. I'm at the beach, I am in Tahiti, I am in Hawaii, I'm sipping on some coconut pineapple kind of drink. I got the big hat on, I got the sunglasses on, I'm greased up, laid back on the chair. That's what this smells like. What? Production, excuse me, production is over here laughing, what? Greased up. Like greased that. up, you know I'm black, I'm being greased up, of course I'm being greased up, what's wrong? I can see it. We don't do ash, this smells. <laughs> For Dutch. You don't get your legs. You've been, you been not put that camera down here on my legs. Listen, they can't see my legs. Oh, you gonna sell me? You gonna, you gonna do me dirty? You gonna do me dirty like that? Don't you turn that camera down. My legs not ashy anyway. Okay, there's one little spot, but yeah, okay. You You gonna be getting unemployment. This smells amazing. I think this is definitely my favorite. Now, my everyday fragrance, I'm, I'm sorry, my everyday favorite out of the group is Coco Mademoiselle, of course. This smells just, it smells expensive. <laughs> it smells elevated. It's beautiful. You can wear this with sweatpants. You can wear this with a business suit, a church outfit, a pair of shorts and flip flops. This is a perfect, everyday, elevated, grown woman scent. This is not something for the little girls that don't know who they are yet. This is for the grown woman that got a head held up like this. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Let's get down to business. That is Miss Coco Mademoiselle. Beautiful scent. Now, uh, let me talk about price. Probably won't know about price. Uh, she is expensive. She is expensive. She is expensive. This was expensive. This was, yeah, every, everyone except for this one. I think Coco Mademoiselle is about $75 to $100. I don't remember. And this Tom Ford um, Black Orchid may be $75 to $100. This is probably the heaviest of all the scents. This is a heavy, spicy scent. Not any particular spice, but it's just heavy and spicy. This is very polarizing. Either you're gonna like it or you're gonna hate it. One of the two. So this is not a scent that I would recommend you buy blind. You don't buy this blind because either you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. And I've purchased a fragrance before that I hated, bought it blind and, and try this out before you purchase it. But it is very, very long lasting. This will last in your skin eight to 12 hours. Really, really nice. Um, this Amouage, this is Amouage Honor. Amouage is a company out of Oman. So um, I think most of their fragrances have a little oud in it. Um, I don't smell the oud in this, but it's just beautiful. This is a very feminine, but not floral or fruity type of scent. 
but it's just very layered and elevated. This is a, a beautiful fragrance and it doesn't have the top because what did I buy it from? I bought it from one of the perfume companies um, that sold the bottles that sit on the shelf in the department stores, not the ones that everybody's spraying, but it, you can get a brand new bottle and the bottle was full. So it was a tester bottle. You get the brand new bottle with the cap on it and I think this was like $350. Or I will send you the brand new bottle without the cap for $300. Okay, you can keep that cap for that $50. <laughs> That's what I see. <laughs> Cause I don't even want it for the bottle. I want it for the perfume. That's why this bottle does not have a cap on it. But this is a beautiful scent. I wear this all the time. You know, and I know a lot of people are staying at home and they're not using their perfumes and not wearing their nice things. Tomorrow is not promised. So I spray perfume on every single day and sometimes at night a lot of times at night if i get out of the tub and i'm just feeling like i want to spray some perfume on and i want to feel pretty and i want to feel expensive i may grab this most time i'll grab this and put that on but this is a beautiful scent as well this scent this is this is beautiful this is killian good girl gone bad i've always been a good girl <laughs> okay not really okay Okay, not really, that was a lie. But anyway, I try to be. This is beautiful. This this smells rich. It, um, it just smells elevated. What did this, you should see the purse that this came in. Where is it? Hold please. So look, look at this. You know this was expensive. This perfume came in this. Isn't that beautiful? Presentation sometimes is everything. This this is just amazing. Yes, it came in this. And if you buy the Killian perfumes, you can keep the bottle and you take the bottle back into um, Sephora wherever you purchase your perfume. And to get it refilled is a lot cheaper than buying a brand new bottle. Did you know that? I did not. Yeah, so that, yeah. That's with all the Killian perfumes, you can get them refilled. You can keep the bottle. Yes. And he, Killian, the designer of the Killian perfumes is an one of the heirs to the Hennessy, the Henny Hen Hennessy dynasty. Did you know that? I did not. Yes, he is, boy. I'll tell you. Got some yes. history. <laughs> so the next is uh, Maison Francis Kirk, Maison Francis Kirk Design. <laughs> yes, um, they're the same company that makes the Baccarat Rouge 540. Almost all of their bottles look like this. And this one is Oud Satin Mood, and I love this. This is a really, really nice, smooth, heavy, complex, winter scent. It has a lot of oud in it. Oh, that's so pretty. This smells like nothing you've smelled before. It really does smell like satin. It smells like a smooth, heavy, black, dark gray, dark blue, royal blue satin. So I think you should take a whiff of this. If you ever go into a store and you see some of the Maison Francis Kurt Dijon fragrances, take a sniff of this oud satin mood. I love it, I, I love it. And it lasts all day. When I say all day, I leave home about a quarter to six in the morning to go to work and I'll come home five o'clock, six o'clock and I'll still smell this on my arm. Not on my, if here, because I wash my hands all day. On my arms, if I smell it, if I have it on my clothes, it'll last in your clothes for days. It's beautiful, worth every dime. Put that there. The next fragrance is this uh, Pulp by Byredo. Byredo has some beautiful scents. This is a very polarizing scent. This smells like a very, very mature fruit, like a combination of uh, watermelon and cantaloupe and bananas, like a, um, a fruit smoothie, like with a heavy fruit smoothie, maybe with a little adult beverage in it. That is what this smells like to me. But I love this. This lasts all day as well. All of the Byredo fragrances are great fragrances. This is new. This is from Tiffany. I don't even know the name of it, but I went shopping recently. I got this from Tiffany. But it's really, really pretty, so I don't have, uh, uh, I just really love this. It wasn't really expensive, but it's really pretty, so I don't really have um, a lot of comment about this. I haven't worn it much, so to be honest, I don't have uh, a lot of opinion on it quite yet, but I think it's beautiful. And this uh, Rouge um, Truffle, here we go. Rouge Trafalgar. <laughs> This Rouge T-R-A-F, <laughs> Rouge Trafalgar by Christian Dior. I, you see the tall bottle. This smells like crisp fruit, like a combination of pear and crispy apple and crispy plum, 
not sweet though not very it smells a little sweet but not sweet like um where is it like the a juicy couture this is a grown this is like a 25 16 to 33 year old this is your 40 year old version of that she's very mature very complex not girly not floral flory not floral, but complex and fruity and just expensive. It smells elevated. This is what you want. If you love fruity scents and you're a grown woman, this is a great scent here. And this kind of smells similar. This is Armani Privé, one of their signature elevated lines. This is a very light and fruity, in my opinion, a tad bit floral, but a very light, very elevated um, summer scent as well. But I love this. Um, the sillage is okay on this, the longevity is okay, but it's a beautiful, beautiful scent and I absolutely love it. So uh, again, these are all my heavy hitters. Most of the time these last a lot longer than uh, typically these and these are great, great everyday signature type scents. Well, that's it, family. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if you haven't subscribed and become a part of my YouTube family, Come on, come on, hit that subscribe button. It won't hurt, it won't cost you a dime, but it will make me very, very happy and very, very appreciative. And if you really liked the video, you can go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget, you, it does not hurt to share either. If you have one of your girlfriends that you think would enjoy my videos, go ahead and share that video with them. And don't forget, even if you leave the house and you don't smell like anything, you smell like something. So why not spray some perfume on so you smell just like you feel? Regardless of whether you feel it, you're feeling fruity, happy, strong, powerful, just pick your scent that matches your personality for that particular day. Okay, that's it. Have a blessed day. Bye. -bye.